So you've got your new CNC machine in, you've got it all unboxed, finished the assembly, and you've been jogging the machine around and maybe even running the included test files. But now you're ready to run some programs from your own designs, but you're not sure what post processor works with this machine. Let's take a look at our choices. Okay, I use VCarve Pro by Vectric, so I wanted to show you the list of post processors that are available to choose from. And as you can see, this is uh, quite a long list. It goes all the way from uh, AXYZ down to something with a Z there. I've never even heard of that machine. But anyway, you can see the list is super long. But all of the uh, the big players are in here. Uh, there's Avid CNC, there's Axiom CNC, uh, there's Cam Master, uh, CNC Shark, uh, Digital Wood Carver is in here. Um, you get the idea. It's just uh, a ton of different post processors that Vectric has available to choose from. And you will notice though, if you scroll down here slowly, for example, if I wanted to go look for Nemo Labs and we come down here to the end, you can see that there's no Nemo Labs specific post processor. Same thing if I come up here uh, to the G's and I look for a Jin Mitsu, there's no Jinmitsu post processor. There's no Fox Alien post processor. And the reason for that is all of those smaller machines that I just mentioned are based around the Gerbil controller. So basically what they all run on uh, as far as a post processor is one that's just simply called Gerbil. Uh, here's one for if you want to post, uh, have it come out in inches or if you're using millimeters as your measure uh, unit of measure, you can select that one. Now, let me close this out. I've already got mine set up here in my VCar Pro, but you can see how I have a set up a machine configuration. I have one for Avid CNC, one for the 4040 Reno Jinmitsu, and of course the newest one I've put on here is the NBX 5040 from Nemo Lab. So it's the 5040, it's manufacturer's Nemo Labs, it's a Gerbil controller. The width and height here is where you would simply put in your working area of your bed. Since this is a 5040, it has 500 millimeters of width and 400 millimeters of height or depth. Uh, and you can see that I already have both of those Gerbil uh, post processors, both the millimeters and the inch associated with this machine. You select them from that list, you tell them to apply, and then you also, you can see this one is uh, in bold here. That's my default. So when I open this up, it's automatically, and if I select the NBX 5040, this is gonna be my default post processor. And just to show how you can add one here, you can go to the plus, you can come over here to the list. I'm just going to scroll down here any old place and grab one. And you select that and there you see it adds it uh, to your list of associated post processors. So now when I go to my list, there would be these three showing that uh, are available for me to choose from. Now I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that one because I don't want that one in here. But now let me come back over here and you can see that I have the machine, the MBX5040. I can drop it down easily and change between the different machines that I have. And of course, when I come to the post processor, I can either select the inch, which is the default, or I can drop this list down. And you can see there's only two here to choose from because those are the two that I've associated with this machine. I don't have to wade through some great big long list, um, you know, trying to find the right post processor. So I only have to pick either inches or millimeters for this one. Now I'm only showing you this in Vectric VCar Pro because that's what I use, but all the software packages are pretty similar. 
you know, when you're going to put a tool path on it, you have to select the post processor you want to use. But the main point of this video is to show you that when you're using a Gerbil based machine, just select the Gerbil uh, post processor, whether it be the inch or the metric. Well, I hope this video will clear up any questions someone might have about choosing the right post processor for their new CNC machine. If you have any questions about this video, please feel free to leave them down in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Don't forget to leave the video a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe and click the bell to get notifications every time I upload a new video. Until the next one, thank you very much for watching.